Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Where is the 10 times 90 plus SBC? It was added to the code. We were excited to see it yesterday on Saturday and it didn't end up dropping. So here we are again today on Sunday, curious and awaiting that SBC's arrival inside of FIFA 21 because that I think is probably like the end all be all in terms of like the best times 10 upgrade pack that you could ever have in this game 90 rated from the batch of preseason best of cards right it's specifically those best of cards the from the 100 best of special cards all of them that are 90 rated plus which is 96 of them you will have an opportunity to pack in that pack which is what everybody kind of wanted yesterday and it didn't show up so hopefully today we see that SBC again I just want to talk about what is going on in this game and how it really feels like it's starting to get to a point where we are getting on for 6 p.m. content and it is not living up to the hype, right? We just came out of a footies promo where the hype every single day was like 7, 8, 9, or 10 out of 10. And now we're like, we're back at like a 3 or a 4 out of 10 almost every single day. Yesterday, our content was in 88 plus SBC re-released and another warm-up challenge. They did change the 88 plus SBC though. Instead of an 85 rated squad requirement, they are making this the low tier annoying SBCs. Now, instead of turning in one squad of 11 players, you have to turn in three squads. So 33 players in total, uh, rare golds, 81 and 82 rated squad, which for some people, they like this, but for some also they don't because it requires more time just for a player pick, right? You're not getting a guarantee like 10 players out of this pack. You're only getting... A set of one of four player picks so i did one of those 88 plus player picks yesterday i got myself a dupe alejandro gomez who's in my honest side right now which is a decent pull right but i just think a lot of people aren't a fan of those you know multiple requ sbc requirements are part of these squads so again the thing about the the uh 10 times 90 plus though is that we expect this to have multiple squad requirements as well and another part about this is yes this could be coming today but it actually might not be coming and it might actually not be coming out for a couple of days because another popular opinion, and there's some weight to this, is that the 90 plus times 10 might actually be coming out after this 87 times 10 goes away, which this is out, I believe, until Tuesday. So if we're going to have to wait until Tuesday to get that SBC or actually it might be Monday, Monday when this would go away. Uh, that'd be a bit of a bummer, right? That'd be a bit of a bummer. I think we would like to see, and I, I don't think that this this 90 plus times 10 is really going to be repeatable unless it is going to replace the 87 times 10. I feel like giving a 90 plus times 10 repeatable would just be like too good, right? I feel like that'd be too good. I know it's late August. It is basically September, but even then I feel like that's just, I don't know. I think it's too good. But anyways, that's kind of what I'm feeling right now for that SBC. I kind of hope that it comes today. Sunday might be our biggest day yet of content outside of the objective stuff from Friday. Might be our biggest day of content as a part of this preseason promo. I do expect them to drop upgrade packs today. I really do think that they will drop some upgrade packs. Um, and hopefully that uh, 90 plus times 10, maybe an icon SBC. I don't even know what icons were missing, but I feel like they would have ended with R9. Some people are saying, hey, Zidane, but I think since Zidane is in swaps, I doubt that he will get one. Um, and by the way, speaking of swaps, the new swap tokens are going to be released um, in just a couple, one more day. Basically on Monday, we're going to have the new swap objectives out. So if you've been saving uh, your swap tokens to get one of those really, really high tier icon packs, or if you're just ready for icon swaps to be reset once again, these are going to be re-upped on monday one day 14 hours so yes monday is when the 87 times 10 goes away this is when icon swaps get reset as well so if we don't see that 90 plus times 10 today then obviously we would expect it on monday you know usually when ea drops a pack code like 90 percent of the time it comes out the day after but of course ea had to pull a fast one on us and uh drop nothing yesterday basically in terms of content again i'll say it again it really feels like this preseason promo is a log on check the content oh the content's not really good and log off like every single day and i think that's gonna how i think that's how it's gonna be for most of the promo i really was hoping to see them advertise the transfer sbcs a lot more but there's not even a single word about transfer sbcs 
inside of this web page for the preseason promo itself right so hopefully we continue to get some sort of sbcs maybe they'll do transfer content without even telling us there's so much potential even at this late stage of the game people would go nuts for a united version of Varan, a united version of sancho right a 99 cristiano ronaldo i just named three united players but like all even like a Danielle Mullen at Dortmund, right? That'd be pretty dope. There's plenty of other transfers that people would love to see. David Alaba, give him a transfer card, right? I mean, you've already confirmed his ones to watch. So, I mean, that kind of stuff would be really nice to see, I think, at this stage of the game. Be some really high-rated cards with the new links, stuff like that. That would be very fun. Now, also, I think it almost has to be coming today, unless they're going to do some sort of tiered objective for these uh, league-specific packs. We are going to be getting... A league of your own pack. There's going to be, I think, all five of these coming out this week. Because again, it, it says in this web page here that these are all the rewards that are going to come out in week one of preseason. And we have not seen these league specific packs yet. So, you know, maybe they drop one per day every day for the rest of this week. And like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, all the way to Friday. They could do something like that. Or maybe they're just going to release one big objective where you have individual parts inside of it to get those specific leagues done. That's uh, something that I may be curious to see happen. And I, I'm not sure how they're going to do it, but I kind of would like it if it's separate maybe and if it's pretty easy, of course, right? And we had a new objective yesterday called Jumbo Pursuit, which was basically, it's a nice way to get some easy packs if you want to go out and grind the game a little bit if you're you're done uh, or if you're complete broke and you need some fodder to maybe do that 90 plus times 10 when it comes out or maybe an 88 plus player pick or whatever the case may be. You can go in here, assist 15 goals, score 20 goals, and boom. You have two 25K packs, which is decent at this stage of the game. Couple squad battles games, and bang, you can have some nice packs. So if you want to sit down and grind it, this is nice. Now, I really don't want to sit down and grind this, so I'm probably just going to get these two 25K packs and call it a day from that objective. But again, it's still nice to be getting objectives like this that are giving us packs at this stage of the game where EA knows like a lot of people want to do the 90 plus time set when it comes out, do the 88 plus player pick, right? Maybe do more of these SBC players that they might put out, but they don't have any cards to do it. They've completely full sent their club. So GG's to EA for still putting out this sort of content. Um, I'm actually playing weekend league this weekend as well. Just side note, and we are currently five and one. So I might get to eight wins because eight wins would get me my swap token. Um, and then uh, I would be very, very close to getting an 83 times 25, which actually would, might be pretty interesting to see if I could rip that before um, we are done for the year. That would actually be kind of nice. But that's kind of what is just going on in this game right now, man. A little bit of an objective. Again, I want to talk about those the warm-up SBCs. I know some of you guys might be doing these, but for me, it just does not seem very worth it to be going in here and doing these warm-up challenge SBCs, because again, today's warm-up two challenge, it was basically mostly silver, but six gold cards as well. 75 chemistry, four leagues, players from one club, minimum three. It just It's like a pain, right? It's just too much effort at this stage of the game just to get a coin boost in FIFA 22. That's why I think that, that this warm-up challenge objective is not worth it, in my opinion. It's too much already for the first two SBCs. So I also just hope that they give us another way this week to get um, a foot 22 Kickstarter pack. So I'm looking for this. And actually, you know what? As I read this again, foot 22 League of Your Own Pack, basically what this sounds like is it's going to be one objective with all of these different individual packs inside of it, right? Because this pack includes the following, just like the Kickstarter pack includes the following, which we would get at all one time. So Maybe today on Sunday, maybe they're going to save it for a little bit down the road this week. I think I've kind of adjusted my thoughts on this after reading it again. Foot 22 League of Your Own Pack. It'll have all of these little packs inside of it. And you'll earn this pack that'll have all these little ones inside of it, which is interesting. But I'm just I'm just ready for it, right? EA, just drop the objective. Let us play. You know, let us get the packs or SBC, whatever it's going to be. Um, and again, it just, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys can feel it as well. If you still have coins and you're still grinding the menus, the 87 times 10 is fantastic. The 88 plus player pick is decent. It was easier before when it was only one squad. If you're finishing Umtiti or Martial, uh, Castilejo and Godin as well. That game is today, Milan and Cagliari. So of course those SBCs are going away. And can I get a Nani check, man? Has Nani finally been upgraded? The dude is still 95. What is up, man? How is this guy still 95? It's been like four days since they played. Like every video now, we're just checking my bench to see if Nani is 97 yet. 
because he should be a 97 and he's not. So that is very, very confusing and EA need to fix up. But um, I'm just waiting for this this 90 time, ninety plus times 10 to drop. I actually bought some fodder. I have 28,000 coins to my name and I bought some fodder because um, you know I knew that this, some of this fodder was gonna spike. Now, of course, I was expecting the 90 plus times 10. Uh, so 82s did go up because of the 88 plus and the different requirements that, that it had. Uh, involved with it and you can see some of the other fodder has actually gone up a little bit in price i was buying 83s for 5k they're now six i was buying 84s for about you know under 7k a piece and now they're about 8k yesterday right before the content drop and so i do think though that when that 90 plus time 10 does come out that's going to be a huge pack that a lot of people want to go after so if you do think it's going to be coming today just get on some bids man because again there's just no supply there's no supply, and I would especially watch the TOTS cards. It looks like the TOTS cards are going up. Team of the Seasons that were 86 rated were like 14,000 coins. Now they're not even showing outside of 16K is the cheapest cards by rating. Um, Berardi as a TOTS card was one of the cheaper. He's still 17,000 coins. So just keep an eye on some of these TOTS cards as well as they are not in packs anymore. The below 90 rated cards, no TOTS are in packs that are below 90 rated. Uh, I believe so keep an eye on some of the fodder tots because if we do get a 90 plus times 10 or any other type of big time SBC uh, an icon upgrade pack SBC as well let, let me actually check is that 92 plus moments still available because again that was one thing we talked about they could do with this promo is drop like a very um, a much more higher tier icon upgrade pack which it looks like right now that is not live so again you know, the potential for any of these swaps packs, since they're already in the code, to be added as a legit SBC, um, it's there, right? A 94 plus attacker or mid pack, 93 plus moments attacker player pick, any of these things, technically, I doubt EA would like re release them as an SBC until you can obtain them or it's easier to obtain them from swaps, which technically, nine swap tokens in the first set, you could get one of, of these two. So, Maybe we'll see a different icon moments upgrade today on Sunday. But again, today on Sunday, content wise, it should be upgrade packs day, even though there's only 100 cards in packs and a lot of people are like done with this game. I think EA will still probably put out some sort of 81 plus player pick or some sort of player pick upgrade pack, probably two, right? We usually see like an 88, 82 to 88 or an 85 to 90 along with a player pick with no rating cap on it. So that would be one thing I would expect today. I don't know about icon SBCs. I feel like we're kind of done with those, to be completely honest. But then I think, again, that 90 plus times 10 is what we're really hoping to see. And we're just maybe a little bit just impatient that it hasn't dropped already because this preseason content is just slow, right? It's just slow and it makes sense because again, they're trying to get us hyped for 22. We're gonna get closer to 22 information as we get into September, but at least for right now, it just seems really slow, which is a bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. So again, a little bit of a shorter one today, but that's the video for today, boys, because there's just it, there's really not that much going on, which sucks a little bit, but hopefully today on Sunday, they do drop a banger day of content with the potential that is still there for this preseason promo and for what they could do inside of this game. So if you enjoyed this video, put a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you do. It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.